Um, Landon, earlier this season, you had a soft launch for your travel mm -hmm. website. Shep called you out for bragging uh, in Nantucket about hanging out with billionaires, not millionaires. That didn't sit well with you. Uh, it still doesn't sit well with me. And again, it's just sort of like male childish behavior. These two guys that Chef works with had flown me up to Nantucket. You know, they said they had booked me a room. There wasn't a room booked, so I'm supposed to stay on the boat with three grown men that I don't know. I felt uncomfortable in the situation. So when I went and checked into a hotel, all of a sudden, I'm the bitch. I went up to Anna Lombardi, your business partner, and first of all, they said that you you were uh, acting a little I out of there sorts. Before they were I even asked there, Anna, I was sober. I'm sorry. I asked Anna because I would never, I, I would do, do my homework. I do check. And Anna said she was not behaving well. You've but never you been just... put in a position where you try to go to work and then you feel sexually threatened. You don't know what it's like to have your boss be like, go put on a mini skirt and pull permits from the city. You don't I've know what it's like. I've never heard anything like, like that. Because that you never happened. asked me. You just immediately took their side. And when you did ask me, it was Landon, like a friend, full on attack. Your friend attack. and business partner said that you were behaving poorly. That's all I can go by. I, I heard it twice from two different people. Did I handle it right? Maybe not. But when I hear bad things about people that I know to be different and sounding, it sounded like behavior that I've never heard before then I'm like, wait a second. Is there is there a different side? Is Landon getting too big for her britches or what? And I had to, and that's what I confronted you about, and I apologize. Thank you. Austin, Landon told you you can't really know a man until you travel with him and see what kind of luggage he carries. Do you think Landon sometimes sets herself up for criticism? Yeah, there, there were a couple a couple times during that lunch, you know, where, where I... I I, I still stand I, by I, that I, statement, though, so I'm not criticized by it. Like, the kind of person I want to be with has, like, decent luggage to travel the world with. The, you know, by the way, you get a lot of gold digger comments. Yeah, I think it's just an easy thing to throw out there. Cameron, do you think Landon is a gold digger? I think things that she says make it come across that she is. Like, I mean, just you saying about the luggage comment, I mean, my husband has luggage that's, like, so cheap and awful, but, like... He's a wonderful person, you know? So, like, I think when you say things like that, it's very easy for people to misinterpret that you would be a gold digger. But I'm not asking it, them for their money. I have I, I, I know, but, but it seems Landon, when I'm watching, I, I'm like, oh, no, 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 don't say right. that, Landon. Like, you're like, well, Thomas has a bunch of ponies. Maybe I should go after him. I was like, don't but say that. But I didn't that. say I was going after Thomas. Like, well, I said if I wanted that. No, but we it don't, just, well, I don't think you're a gold digger. I like you, but it's just like. what you're saying is you don't think she's a gold digger, right? No. Well, on that note, Brandy from Vale tweeted, calling Vale a truck stop yes. is lame. At least we're not trying to be a second-rate trip advisor. OK. It's like friendly banter. I mean, it was friendly it's banter, the most but then pretentious, the obnoxious conversation, I will admit that. So there's this big Aspen-Vale rivalry, and everyone who loves Aspen jokingly says that Vale's a truck stop.